this is Chris from eComfort. I'm one of the product experts here, and I'm going to walk you through on how to purchase a mini split system with the branch box. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a mini split system. So a lot of times people don't see this, but we have a mini split system builder. I'm going to walk through that real quick. I want heating and cooling. I'm going to just do wall mounted. I want a, let's do a three zone. And I want a, let's see, a 12, 24, and a 24. Let's view our results. I'm just going to pick the top one here, which is LG. Just as a reminder, uh, some manufacturers come with um, uh, port adapters. My apologies. Some of the units come with port adapters, some of them don't. So like LG, they actually come with the port adapters in the head units. With Mitsubishi, um, you have to purchase those separately. Uh, always feel free to call in and ask what brand comes with what or what's required for those systems. You can also email us as well. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my cart. And then I'm going to go down. So I have a 12, a 24, and a 24. So I already know that I'm going to need a branch box. I've got a 54K unit with a 12, a 24. That's what this product includes. Product note, line set, branch box, drain tubing, so on and so forth. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my branch box. And I only have three zones, so I'm just going to do a three-port branch box. Now you need to know the distance between where your compressor is going to be and your branch box. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up what size line set I need for my branch box. And if I remember right, LG is a little off, not meaning bad in any way, but they use a different size line set to their branch box. So that's 3 eighths by 3 quarters. I'm going to go to the line set here. I'm just going to pick the first line set that I see because I already know I can use the drop down menu. So here's 3 eighths by 3 quarters. I'm just going to stick this in an attic or a crawl space right near my installation point. Minimum requirements, again, you're looking probably about 10 feet. I'm going to pick the 15-foot one. Now, I also need wire to go with that. So whatever I do in distance with this, from here to there, I'm going to need to know I need wire for that. So once again, I'm going to go down to the wire. 15 feet. And that's all taken care of. So we have that one section done. Now I need to know the distance between my branch box and each individual indoor unit. So I'm going to say for in this case, my 12 is going to be about 25 feet away. So what size line set do I need? Quarter by 3 eighths. So here's a quarter by 3 eighths. Now I need 25 feet. Added that to the cart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. I'm going to see what size line set my 24 is going to be. Now each one of those is going to be about 25 feet away. So this is going to need to be um, quarter by half for the line set on this. Now once again, um, I've stated before that if you look at the single zone version of this, it might say uh, 3 eighths by half or 3 eighths by 5 eighths. It will change. Um, from single zone system to multi-zone system, depending on the brand. Always make sure you check either the installation manual or you check uh, the head units that we have listed under our specs here. Now, I know it needs to be quarter by half, so I'm going to just select the third. I'm going to go down to quarter by half. I think each one of those, I said they're going to be about 25 feet away. You know what, let's just up the ante, let's do 50. And I know I need two of those. So as I scroll down here, I need to remember I need wire again for these. So right now I need 50 and 50 is 100 plus 25, so 125 feet of wire. What I can do is I can go to here, see what I have for the drop down. Well, here's 100 foot right now. I'm going to add that because I can always cut it. And then I'm going to click on it again. I know I need another 25 feet. I'm going to add that. 
Other things that are required for this unit, especially if you're in a cold climate, you're going to need a drain pan heater. Anytime that you get below 30 degrees, we do suggest that you purchase the drain pan heater because some warranties require that you have it. I'm going to put the drain pan heater on here because we're in Chicagoland area and we get darn cold. Let's see here. Anything else that I might need? I can do a wall hanging bracket. I can do a condenser pad. Just as a reminder, this distribution pipe is if you wanted to do two branch boxes. It's only required for if you run two branch box system. Is there anything else that I might need? Not for my typical installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the wall hanging bracket because I want to make sure it's up and out of the snow in our wonderful Chicagoland area here. I have my outdoor unit with my indoor units and the remotes. I have my branch box, my line set between my branch box and my condenser. Same with the wire. And then I have my three line sets, one for each head. Once again, I have wire enough. So I've got one 100 here, so that's 250s essentially. I have enough wire to go between these line sets back to the branch box as well. My drain pan heater and my um, wall hanging bracket. There may be other components that are required for installation. Uh, you can purchase some of those other items locally like um, breaker sizes, uh, wire between the um, breaker panel to the disconnect box. And actually that reminds me, I need a disconnected whip for this. Let's pull up the disconnect and whip. There we go. We're looking at an eight gauge because it is a larger condenser. Now I have all the components I need. If you have any questions, always feel free to call in or send an email. We're definitely here to help. Have a wonderful day.